so when I was married, and this is no shade, but when I was married, um, I wanted help, very little help cleaning the house. And um, it would be small stuff. And I realized only when we were about to have company, we every Sunday at the church, a lot of people came to our house. And um, nothing bothered me more than, than seeing my ex-husband trying to run around and clean the house right before everybody got there. And I'm like, why can't we live like this on a normal day-to-day -day basis? Why is it that when people come, we have to hurry and clean up? And it's all about impressing, you know? Um, and I did not like that about him right and then i noticed that i do it myself hold on my neighbor's coming then i noticed that i did that a lot myself um once i once we separated and i moved into my own place i was very i was a very clean person but on days that you get tired you know you just have one of those days and it just be like the dish is gonna be in the sink today okay and then all of a sudden, my friend calls me like, hey girl, I'm about to pull up, let's da 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 da. And I'm like, okay, but I'm flying around the house doing dishes. And I'm just like, no, no. I am not trying to impress nobody. I'm not, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm trying to impress myself. That's why I told you guys um, in the last video, one of the videos where I was like, I'm not fangirling over anybody else. I'm a fangirl over myself. And I'm going to try to impress myself. That's how important Jasmine is to me. Jasmine is watching all the time. So let me show her what it's like. And I, I, I used to watch videos of girls that, that do that wake up and they have this meal and that meal and this meal and that meal. And I'm like, I'm going to make a video like that. And I could never do it. You want to know why? Because it wasn't the truth. That wasn't who I really was. And the deeper rooted issue is I was trying to impress other people. We care about what people think way too much. And the best way to stop caring about what anybody thinks is one by experience. You have to go through different scenarios, different circumstances where you start to be aware like I said, I became aware once I realized I was running around like my ex-husband was trying to clean up. And I'm like, it hit me like, oh, I care too much what she think. And so the first step is becoming aware. The second step is start impressing yourself. Start impressing yourself. My friend calls me when well, she'll FaceTime me and she'd be like, you look cute. Where you going? Who's coming over? And I'm like, nobody. I have another friend that calls me and she'll, fa I mean, she FaceTimes me. And you know how you just set it up because you're in the middle of cleaning or cooking. I'll set it up and I'll keep cleaning. And she'll be like, you have the cutest pajamas. Yeah, I know. I always say thank you. But what I'm saying is I'm impressing myself. I look cute for myself. Angel be like, why do you have that on? Where are we about to go? Nowhere, babe. This is what mommy do, because I want you to do it as an adult. I want this to be your normal, is to impress yourself. And you'll be so much in a habit of doing things, top tier things, and loving on yourself all the time, looking cute all the time, nails staying done, always looking nice, down to pajamas, I need going to bed, I look cute, okay? And it's not a shallow thing. It's simply about self-love taking care of yourself because the world treats you the way that you treat you that's why i tell all of the ones that i mentor to create routines create the routine that is your dream woman what does your dream woman look like forget a dream man i don't care the the, the list of he gotta be bald head tall muscular full beard what does your dream woman look like first are you there yet before we can go on to what your dream man look like and you know what you gotta do to get her there. So let's create some routines to get you to your dream woman. But but let's say your your favorite, let's say you you in love with Chris Brown. 
if if Chris Brown just wants to come over and see how you living, your house gonna be spotless. You are not gonna do your everyday routine. You gonna you gonna add some stuff in there. You gonna be eating the proper way. You ain't gonna be eating all sloppy. And I noticed that a lot of people, when nobody's looking, they're a completely different person. I know somebody, her Instagram is perfect. I mean, so is mine. But when you talk to her, she's a completely different person than she is on Instagram. And it's because she cares what other people think so much. You know, you can't post on Instagram and act like you're, you, you do certain things. But then you really don't at home. You don't care about impressing yourself. All that matters is other people and that shows that you don't love yourself yet. So that's why you care about what other people think. But the best thing to do is to write down what your dream woman look like and then create a routine, a morning routine, a workout routine, a bedtime routine, uh, a face mask routine, hair care routine, oral hygiene routine. I have so many routines written out and I do all of them every day because Dream Jasmine is watching. She want to see how I'm living because if, if I put myself on the same platform as Chris Brown, Beyonce, like they blood is red just like mine. They ain't no special than me. In my mind, I'm on the same level as them. What you talking about? That's how much I love myself. That's how much, that's how high I think of myself. So to have Jasmine watching all the time, I'm not about to be crying looking at old pictures of my old fling. Because for what? I moved on and I know who I am and we didn't work out. Now it's time to get back into my bag. I mean, and I honestly didn't come out of it when we was even talking. But you wanna get so deep into your routine, you're doing it every single day to impress yourself so then that way, when other people come around, it's gonna be normal. Your routine is gonna be so normal to you. This is what you do every day. This is how I live, this is how cute I am. I ain't getting burnt out impressing you because I've already tried to impress myself. I'm succeeding at it. I'm becoming the person that I dream of being. I'm being as if, as if. As within, so without. And so it's really hard to hear people <laughs> act like self-love. I love myself. Da, 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 da. I ain't insecure. You, I ain't the insecure friend. You sure, sis? Because just from you trying to impress everybody, I can tell that you don't love yourself. I can tell that you don't try to impress yourself at home or else it would come naturally. We are in our subconscious mind 90% of the time. We are in a conscious mind where we can sit up straight and know that we're acting appropriate and having poise and being classy and proper. That's 10%. That's what we have control over. But the 90%, the subconscious mind, is who we really are when we're just like relaxed and we're looking around. We don't even know that we're being ourselves. So if you're faking it in front of somebody to impress somebody, they can read right through it. Everybody reads right through fakeness and you're attracting more fake people into your life. So I don't mind sharing with you guys my routines. I have them linked down below with the PDFs if you guys really wanna see what they are, use them for yourself or tweak them, create your own, whatever you do. We gotta stop caring, caring what other people think about us and impress ourselves. 